Okay, so I've driven about an hour south from my house. Um, down the coast, so this, the beach is behind me here. I'm basically going to do some road cruising. Um, hopefully being south and like coastal, I can pick up some new species. So come along with me and see how it goes. Okay, so first half of the night is a marbled gecko. It's a very small one. But it does have these cool, if I can get in there, these cool orange spots on its tail, which is kind of cool. I've got Aaron with me here tonight. Hello, Hello. Aaron. And Harrison's meant to be meeting me out here later as well. So hopefully can find some more species than just one marbled gecko. <laughs> but I'm just going to let this little guy go. Get him off the road to safety. And keep on looking. If he will leave my arm, that is. Go on. Off he goes. Back in the car. Into the world. <laughs> Back into the car and hopefully we can find some more stuff. Alright, second species of the night. We've seen this one before. Strophorus spinagaris spinagaris. I think it's the southwest soft spiny tailed gecko. Something like that. This one's got nice patterns on it with its nice yellow eye and Nice dorsal striping there. You can see it there licking its eye because they don't have eyelids, so they can't blink. So that's how they clean their eyes. Again, I've got heaps of photos of these, even though this one's a nice one. I think I'll just let it go and continue on, hopefully, finding some more stuff. Alright, so got it off the road. And just release it into this bush here. It was heading over this way anyway. Yeah, there you can see kind of it's how well camouflaged they kind of can be, <laughs> even if they are a little bit derpy. <laughs> yeah, I'll get back on the road and see what else I can find. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> oh. Come on, buddy, you can make it. Nah, he's not gonna try. He felt bad. All right, back in the car. <laughs> okay, so third herp of the night, and it's a new one for the channel, and a new one for me. So this is a black-naped burrowing snake, or Nelaps, uh, something or other, I can't remember what the full scientific name is. I'll put it on the video. But yeah, this is, so cool such a small snake too I can't believe I saw it from the car but yeah so I'll definitely be grabbing some shots of this little guy because it's a new species for me I haven't got this one yet so yoohoo it's a new species for Aaron too Heck so yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely need the macro <laughs> I'm not gonna be lazy and not swap it but yeah how cool is that so small now, I, I believe this guy is a, an elapid and will be venomous, but not only would it be mildly venomous and not very prone to bite, um, but also I very much doubt it can get its tiny mouth on any part of my body <laughs> because it is so small. And you can see there, it's actually trying to burrow into my skin to safety, which obviously it can't do. I'm going to try and not drop it because it was very hard to pick up. And I still dropped it anyway. But yes, I'll grab some photos of this little guy. Please stop trying to burrow into me. And yeah, hopefully keep cruising, hopefully find some more stuff. But I'm stoked with that. Okay, so grabbed my shots. <laughs> you can see him still wrapping up, trying to burrow into my finger. But yeah, this is where, I, well, we found him on the road here, so I'm just gonna let him go 
into these shrubs here and, and watch him disappear. Now with this being a burrowing snake, he might, if I just put him down here in this sandy patch, he may just burrow down. We'll see how he goes. And luckily for Harrison, he showed up just in time when we managed to grab him. But what a gorgeous little snake. And like, absolutely tiny. <laughs> But yeah, off he goes. Into the shrubs. How cool. Oh well, we're gonna keep cruising and see if we can hopefully turn something else up. All right, next reptile of the night is a nice Burton's snake lizard. Thought I'd show you this one because it's not the typical gray color that you see up in the hills. It's nice fawny colored one but I'm not gonna grab any shots of it I'll just let it go it was heading this way across the road so before I annoyed it so we'll just put it down here and let it go all right on to find some more all right next find of the night and he's very happy because yes. he's been cursed Fuck check yeah. out the size of this oh what a Fucking beauty. So this is a southwestern carpet python, Moriella imbricata, and what a stunning snake. It's got a little bit of a scarring here. Now this snake is very aware that we're here. It has heat sensing pits. You can kind of see that just under its mouth there, heat sensing pits. So it can actually see our heat signatures. But yeah, what a gorgeous snake. This would be probably 1.5 yeah, meters long. There yeah, you can see it here next to my foot. It's decent size. Harrison went the wrong way, <laughs> but oh, it's never okay. Guess what we found. We found it in Bricada. <laughs> Good size too. Off the little turn off road, you know the one that goes to those houses? Yeah, yeah, turn around. I, I tried to flash you, you missed the... Now, the question is, the can I grab it without getting bitten? That's a good question. Because I don't yeah, want to get bitten by something this off, size. I think you missed it. Down the red Whoa. Road. Well, I'm going to put this down and yeah. hopefully get some shots of this guy. But yeah, how cool is that? Awesome snake. Alright, so Southwest Carpet Python, and this is a good specimen actually. It's definitely not the biggest one we've seen out here, but it's a good one. I'd rather it didn't bite me though, because that would still hurt a lot, even though it's not venomous. They do have a lot of teeth. <laughs> and there was one recently that was a little bit bigger than this that we got. Um, it took down a full-size, full-grown rabbit. So they're very strong as well. This one's got a few scars on it. It's been battling with something out here. It, I mean, could be bites from rabbits, to be honest. <laughs> Couldn't it? Love bites. Yeah. But yeah, gorgeous. So, what? Probably grab some shots of it. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous but yeah how cool is that imbricata southwestern carpet python awesome yeah that'll do have a look at this stunning snake Happy boy. <laughs> I want to turn that way a bit more. Okay, I'll come back. Okay. 
We've grabbed our shots of this gorgeous snake. Don't you dare bite me. And I'm about to release it now. No, not up the sleeve. <laughs> and I'm about to release it now. So I'll end the video here with some nice footage of it taking off into the bush. And hopefully it goes the way that it was planning to go originally. Because, no, not this way, you goose. You were going this way. <laughs> well, okay. Now it's going to tie my legs up. Like I've said many times before, gotta love working with animals. Go. Ugh. Be free, Willy. Okay. Now it's got its bearings. It knows where it is. And I'll just finish the video here with it heading off into the bush. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment if you like what you saw and all that good stuff. And yeah, check back for another video soon.